Hey guys, this is David the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. In this video today, I'm going to talk about acne causing foods. Um, I'll talk quite a bit about different specific foods that uh, could be related to acne and causing further acne. Um, but today, I want to just kind of do a general overview video um, talking about acne causing foods and just to help you understand the mindset so that uh, you can do research uh, on specific foods and drinks and understand if it's good for your skin or bad for your skin and, and acne and whatnot. So, um, first things first, you've got to understand that if something is bad for your health, it's going to be bad for your skin and acne too. So, um, just understanding uh, what foods and drinks and, uh, uh, you know, uh, diet, uh, what what is good and what and bad, what is good and what is bad in your diet and food and drinks um, in terms of health is going to be very beneficial to you not only in your health but in understanding how to clear up your acne and how to get clear skin again. So um, really what's good for your health is bad for acne and what's bad for your health is good for acne. So what I mean by that is if you're eating things that are junky, it's going to cause more acne. If you're eating things that are healthy and nutritious and good for your health, it's going to help your skin become healthier and more nutritious and more clear. So um, Hopefully you understand that mindset and, uh, you know, when researching and understanding different foods and drinks and whatnot, um, just learn if it's good for you or bad for you. And then once you understand if it's good for, or good for you or bad for you, only then uh, decide on, you know, making it part of your lifestyle and including it in your diet. So um, with that being said, um, there are several things that are going to cause, uh, you know, there are acne causing foods that are going to cause acne to become worse and grow out of control and cause more inflammation and growth of the acne. Um, and I'm going to talk about kind of categories in a sense today. Um, the first category um, is excessive protein. Now uh, protein uh, is uh, it's acidic forming. Uh, for the most part in the body, protein will become acidic in the body. Um, things like meats, um, uh, uh, nuts, things like that. Um, a, a healthy amount of protein is okay. You want to get a natural source of protein that's healthy. Um, I have almonds, cashews, things like that. Sunflower seeds are great sources of protein. Um, but excessive protein will cause the, your body to become more acidic, which will cause further acne breakouts. So excessive protein is not a good thing. Um, stay away from like supermarket and grocery store meats. Um, generally speaking, these are very low quality. They have sodium nitrate in them, which is a known carcinogen, cancer-causing agent. And they also are pumped with hormones and things, so they're not really healthy at all. And those, so those hormones and things in the meat um, can cause hormone, hormonal imbalances in your body, which can cause fur, further acne breakouts. So um, the acidity of the excessive meat and excessive protein is not good for your skin and health. And then also the uh, hormone and uh, things that, they, that are actually in the meat uh, that they you know, in a sense, inject into the into the animal to make it grow faster are not healthy and cause hormonal imbalances as well. So excessive protein is the first kind of category. Protein is good um, as long as it's natural, organic protein, but stay away from eating too much meat or too, you know, taking too much protein because uh, you really don't need it and it will cause your body to become more acidic. The next thing is dairy. Um, dairy is actually, um, our bodies really aren't meant to digest dairy, so in terms of like uh, uh, cheese, milk, things like that. Uh, they're pa it's pasteurized and homogenized, uh, which basically means it's uh, heated up um, to a level to kill the bacteria, uh, but at the same time it kills the nutrition in that dairy. Um, so the, the vitamin D and calcium and things that you think you're getting, you really aren't getting because of the homogenization uh, and pasteurizing process. Um, that, that being said, uh, your body also does not digest dairy um, like it should uh, because dairy is kind of foreign to the body. It doesn't know what to do with it. Um, the only, we humans are the only race that crosses, crosses into other uh, you know, species in a sense uh, in terms of cows and whatnot um, to get dairy. Um, nursing is you know, one thing when we're very young. That's different because that's, that's from our own race and that our body recognizes that nursing is a normal part of an of a infant you know, growing and evolving. But in terms of getting dairy uh, from a cow, it's foreign to our body, so our bodies are confused by it. Um, so dairy, really reducing dairy, I really don't have dairy at all. Um, every once in a while I will have cheese, but it's organic and it's, uh, it's healthy, natural cheese. It's not, you know, um, the general cheese. It's organic. So it means the, the animals were uh, grass-fed and uh, free-range roaming uh, animals so that uh, they, the animals were healthier, so their dairy is healthier. So excessive protein is one thing, or too much protein 
Protein's good, but keep it in balance. Dairy, really you don't need it. Um, it's, it's kind of a myth uh, that you need dairy. Uh, instead of using regular milk, you can do organic rice milk or organic almond milk is what I recommend. Um, and just stay away from cheese in general. Um, if you do have cheese, get organic uh, natural cheese from your local health food store. The next thing is uh, uh, artificial sweeteners and sugars. Um, white table sugar, like I've talked about before, is not good. Uh, it causes more acidity in the body, which will cause... Uh, uh, cellular imbalances in the skin and it, uh, the acidity will try to break out of your body, or excuse me, escape your body, and if it doesn't get through your intestinal tract, it will break out of your skin in the form of acne, eczema, uh, you know, any a variety of skin conditions, but definitely acne. Um, so sugar is one thing you want to stay away from. If you, There are better sweeteners, and I talk about that in uh, another video I made, so be sure to go to my channel and check that out if you want to learn more. Um, sweeteners. Um, artificial sweeteners are actually worse in most cases, than even white table sugar. Um, I forget the names, but uh, or one is like sweet and low. Um, a lot of them, you know, the, the packets, the sweeteners, um, these are extremely toxic and most of them are carcinogenic. Um, they're cancer causing and they're, they're, they cause acidity and toxicity in the body and they're foreign to the body. The body doesn't know what to do with them. It can't digest them. It can't use them. They're not nutritious. So if they don't escape through the you know, normal detoxing intestinal tract process, they're going to break out of your skin or cause imbalances and cause other things to try to break out of your skin. Um, basically, they cause confusion in the body, cellular, cellular confusion, because they're foreign to the body, and the body tries to get rid of them, whether it's through the skin or you know, whatever. Um, so stay away from artificial sweeteners. Stay away from white table uh, sugar. Um, you can use, um, there's a lot of alternatives, stevia, S-T-E-V-I-A. Is a natural sweetener. It's actually healthy for you and beneficial. So use stevia instead of artificial sweeteners um, and, and white table sugar. Stevia is great. Stevia is probably the best. Um, turbinado sugar, which is organic brown sugar, is okay. Um, agave is another sweetener you can use. Honey, organic honey is okay. Um, so those are some alternatives to white table sugar. So we got too much protein, excessive protein, uh, dairy, um, uh, and protein includes meats and that kind of thing. Dairy. Um, uh, sugars and sweeteners. And the last and final category is uh, grains and, and uh, really just grains. Um, generally speaking, uh, Americans eat way too many grains, just like sugar, way too much grain and sugar. We need to reduce the grains because grains actually slow the body's uh, digestive tract and intestinal tract down um, and will cause uh, basically you to uh, not uh, you know, process other nutrients and things in your body as quickly. Um, generally speaking, uh, there, obviously there's levels of health in terms of grains, so white bread is going to be not nearly as healthy as uh, whole wheat bread, and whole wheat, bread, the whole wheat bread is not nearly as healthy as like sprouted uh, uh, bread, sprouted grain bread, which is like an even better alternative. So um, if you go to your local health food store, you can find like organic sprouted grains, and that's going to be a better alternative. Um, but uh, generally speaking, you want to reduce your grains and increase your fruit and vegetable intake, but decrease your grains and sugar and excessive proteins and dairy. Um, so I hope that gives you kind of a clear uh, understanding and vision of what is, you know, what to do in your health and what not to do, so you can make better decisions to clear up your skin quicker. Um, those are just some acne-causing foods, um, and you know, in your diet and, and uh, you know, in your life that you could be eating or having too much of in that category. So that you understand the kind of categories, and you can see that from like a bird's eye view in a sense, you can better decide what's good and what's bad, and um, you know, make better choices for your health. So um, also drink more pure water spring or purified water only. No tap water. Drink more water. Uh, increase your vegetable and fruit intake. Sprouts are great too. Organic fruits and vegetables. Eat them raw if you can. Um, and reduce grains, excessive proteins, meats, dairy, and sugars and sweet, things like that, and processed foods, crackers, chips, things like that. Um, so I hope that clears up a lot of the acne-causing foods um, and a lot of the acne food-causing questions and, and, you know, understanding that whole kind of category in, in terms of, uh, you know, what the food does in the body. Some people still think that foods don't cause acne. That's completely ludicrous because foods cause cellular change in your body, okay? Your skin cells are part of your body. So when you put things into your body, anything into your body, your skin is the largest organ in your body. It's going to affect your skin. And if you eat a uh, completely healthy and, and a balanced, nutritious diet, um, unless your acne is being caused from other reasons, uh, and there's a variety of reasons and causes of acne, um, your acne will be completely clear and gone. 
Um, but diet is one of the biggest causes I've seen of acne. Um, diet, stress, hormonal imbalance, uh, and, and uh, emotions and things like that. But diet is huge. It's usually like 50% of your acne or more. Some people it's 80, 90, 100% of their acne. Um, most people it's really 75, 80, 85% of their uh, acne cause is from diet and food and, and drinks and what they're putting into their body, what they're consuming and ingesting. Um, so I hope that helps clear things up for you. Um, you know, your di saying that diet doesn't affect acne is like saying diet, you know, doesn't affect you know obesity and diet doesn't affect disease. Diet has an effect on every health choice, health disease, symptom cause. Uh, diet has an effect on everything in regards to the health of you and your body, whether it's on your skin, in your body, in a specific organ, in a gland, your, you know, whatever it may be, your diet has an effect on the health of you, your body, your skin, everything in your body, and showing on your body. Um, so dismissing diet as a cause of acne is like, is like, like I said, saying that diet doesn't, you know, it's not linked to obesity, or diet doesn't cause you to be overweight, well, you, you know, that's crazy. Uh, of course it does. So, um, when people say that diet doesn't cause acne, that's ridiculous, that's ludicrous. Uh, like I said, that's like saying diet doesn't cause obesity. Um, and it's obviously going to play a part and a big part of that. So I hope that clears some things up. Um, I've made quite a few videos talking about specific foods and drinks uh, that can cause acne to become worse or cause acne, acne to become better. Um, so what to stay away from and what to uh, you know help in your diet. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for this video. This is David the Skin King from AcneRacingSecrets.com. Clearing the acne of the world one person at a time, starting with you. Be sure to hit the subscribe yellow button above. Like the video with a thumbs up below. Favorite this video, share it on your playlist. Hit the share button to share it on Facebook and Twitter. I really appreciate that. And leave your comments, questions, thoughts, and feedback below. I appreciate that as well. Take care and have an awesome rest of the day. And we'll see you on my website below. Bye.